Hey gang, this is Donna Lay of DonnaLay.com and I'm here to talk to you today about using pen on tarot. Now I have these two great decks. One is called Symbolon. It's, I thought it was a tarot when I bought it, but it's actually an oracle deck. And we have the King's Journey deck. Both really the fun Symbolon deck. Tarot. I got a really great reading from someone who used the book so that we would be objective about something. And the book with this is great because it talks about different meanings of the cards depending on, on whether it's in position one, two, or three. And you see each card has a name, the burden, the fall. But here's the thing. Each of the cards are identified in the back and it says what page number it's on, but none of the cards have any titles or numbers on them. So if you're new to the deck, you pull out a card and you, there's nothing to identify what it is, so you have to look in the back to see and identify which it is. So, um, I mean, there's other ways you can read it, of course, intuitively, and there are symbols on here that you can use astrology and systems that might be familiar to you. So what I did is I decided to write on my deck. Yes, I wrote on it. And what I found was kind of a classy look. I used the Pilot Silver Marker, and this is permanent. I found the extra fine point. This is silver, and they have the same thing in gold. Okay, uh, I got this at a local craft store. Just AC Moore, I believe, is where I got this in the, the art section. And these, when it comes out, it actually is liquid, and when you hit the tip, um, the ball goes up into it. So practice on the extra card, and there's always an extra card in the deck, and you can see how the ink comes out and how it dries. Now it is like paint, it is ink, so you have to let it dry. It's not like a regular permanent marker, but here's what I did. Next we have the King's Journey Tarot, which was actually the first deck that I wrote on because the creative meanings of the cards were slightly different than what you may see in the right away. This is the Nine of Cups. You might think that could be the Two of Cups or it could be another card that had to do with love. Um, I wasn't sure I'd be able to recognize which suit and element it was and although it's, it's great to look at them intuitively, I really wanted to use the system of tarot on top of my intuitive hit. So I wrote on top of these and you'll see that um, the Chariot is a major. I wrote all the majors in gold. So I just used the gold marker for that one. And this is one of the minors, and that's the Queen of Swords. I actually used the symbols that I absolutely loved from the Anna K Tarot. Very simple to do. Um, there's the sword. There's your wands. Your cups. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, it's, you really don't even notice it unless you really want to look for it. I like the subtle look. And there's pentacles. It's just a circle. And don't, aren't these great colors? How it looks like it's shining off there. Really bright colors in this deck. Um, for this spirit suit, there's an extra suit in this deck. I just made an S for that. And because they mean something upright than reverse, and I figured I'd be using this mostly for my own personal readings, I actually put in the reverse meanings as well because the spirit suit is new to me. So I thought it would help me broaden the meanings of what's there and just learn about the cards a little bit. There's the star in gold. All right, so you get the system. You get the, what you got to do though is these pens are like paint and they do need to dry. So I was literally putting cards like this all over my table as they dried and I gave it a good maybe half an hour for each card to dry. And then they're good and it stays on there, it doesn't rub off, it doesn't smear, and you've got yourself a nice deck that is now the perfect Have a wonderful tarot-filled day.